Some sad news coming out of Colorado College as we have learned that a 20-year-old tennis player has died suddenly in his sleep. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video, help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. The news coming out here that Colorado College, a standout tennis player by the name of Jack Madison, had died suddenly in his sleep. This was on Monday, January 2nd, the announcement going out there to the college about the passing here of Jack. And again, this was sudden, you know, there was no signs of this, you know, any sort of an issue prior to his passing. You know, they said that Jack was a treasured member of the tennis team there on campus and somebody who not just was a tennis player for the school, but also was editor for his undergraduate newspaper called The Catalyst. He was going to be, you know, his passion was really to teach history. And he was even thinking about a double major. He had passion for art as well. Uh, he was just described as probably one of the most respected, you know, well-mannered, you know, student athletes there on campus. And tributes have been pouring in since the news came out here about his passing. Now, Jack did not play. Um, he's He was a sophomore, but he did not play his freshman year for Colorado College because of a, of a hernia injury. He did play some matches later on uh, in towards the end of 2022, uh, some doubles and singles matches, uh, but he did not play for the actual Colorado College team. So, you know, I don't know the exact cause of Jack Madison's death. I mean, you know, look, we've seen the similar trend. I know a lot of you know that. I've been reporting on it, but you know, I was curious because I didn't see this initially in the report, but I wanted to know Colorado College and their policy on the Pinchy. So I took a look at it and, well, not only do they require all of their students to, and not just students, but students, faculty, teachers, everybody to get the Pinchy, you have to be fully pinched, but also they're all required to be boosted as well. Now, it did say on there that there are exceptions for, you know, medical, religious reasons and all that. But it did say that 89.7% of their campus, including students and teachers, all faculty, have been fully pinched and boosted. That's a big number. Now, again, I'm not saying that's what the cause was here. I'm just letting you know their policy and, you know, tying this all into similar patterns that we have seen of more young athletes, especially like Jack Madison, who have passed away. But look, regardless of what the cause is, and again, I will never come out on any video and say 100% that yes, this is what it was, because I just don't know. But what we could do is pray for the family of Jack Madison, all of his teammates, friends, that God would just be with them and comfort, at this comfort them at this time, because it's going to be very difficult, especially for the family, to move forward. This kid had a lot of goals. He had a lot ahead of him. But you know, what I want to do right now is I want to end this video on hope. This is something that I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. Not only do I talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines and you know how our world is just really, we're, we're living in the days of Re the book of Revelation and the Bible, but we want to get people to Jesus as well. You know, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so if you're watching this video right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into your life. I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry and jump back into your old ways, but to turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no 
greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. As I mentioned, you guys can let me know your thoughts. Prayers once again going out to the entire family of Jack Madison, that God will be with you all and give you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. I'll talk again soon.